Hi, this is Ivan with Simple Sheets. In this video, we're going to do a step-by-step -step tutorial of our failure mode and effects analysis template. This is one of over 100 pre-built and smart templates that we offer. Click the link in the description and try 5 free templates before you buy. Let's get started. The introduction sheet contains a short description about this template. Over here, we have a customization difficulty, an explanation of the sheets that come with this template, and some instructions on how you can utilize this template. And at the bottom, we have a short guide on using our templates with compatible online services. This template is a useful tool when eyeing for improvements in a design or process. It gives you a means to objectively quantify the various points of failure which would make it easier for you to prioritize and come up with improvements. The only sheet you have to work on with this template is the FMEA datasheet. We start by inputting the details of the analysis, input the item, model, who's responsible for it, the name of the assessor, and the core team handling the item. To the right, we have some record keeping details that you might also want to fill out, such as the FMEA number, page number, and the date. The table below is where all the magic happens. The first column is where you'll input the different functions of the product. In order to encapsulate numerous failure modes per function, you can merge the cells similar to this example. For this example, the item in question is an ATM. One of the functions of the ATM is to dispense the amount of cash requested by the customer. In the next column, we list down the potential failure modes or the things that could go wrong corresponding to the function. Here, we have that it doesn't dispense cash, dispenses too much cash, and takes too long to dispense cash. Then, to the right of that, we input the possible effects of each failure. Next, we put in the severity. We can move over to the FMEA standard sheet. It's here where we can get references for the ratings of the effects, probabilities of failure, or occurrence, and detection. Going back to the FMEA datasheet, input the possible causes of failure, then the occurrence or probability of failure rating, the current process controls or what's currently in place to mitigate such failure, and input the detection rating Again, basing it off of the FMEA standards sheet. Next, we get the risk priority number. It's basically the different weights multiplied which shows you which potential failure mode should be prioritized given the severity, likelihood of probability, and its difficulty of detection. Once you've gotten the RPN, enter the recommended action to alleviate the possible failure and the person in charge and their target date. Lastly, input the actual action taken and redo the assessments for the severity, occurrence, and detection, which should give you your RPN again and you can compare with its initial so you could quantify your results. That's all for this template. If you want to automate your Excel processes and enhance your level of productivity, Simple Sheets Advanced Templates and University is the best tool out there. I'll see you guys on the next one.